Shinzu too. Flooding that one takes Shinzu too. A set in <laughs> Get inside the car, let's go. Okay, so welcome to another episode of the vlog. I started the vlog a little bit late today. I had a lot of stuff I had to do this morning and um now I am at the post or at the post office. I'm at Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. So I'm at the bank. I have to um, deposit some stuff. Then I have to go to Albertsons, which is right over there. Then the post office has the packages to drop off. And oh, and then um, mom is still sick. I ordered her some lobster noodles from Yard House because she really likes that. And I got myself some southern fried chicken. Yay. And then um, I'm going to go to McDonald's and then pick up food for all the kids because they just want McDonald's. They don't want anything. And that's including John because he's also one of the kids. Um, so that's the plan for right now. So I'm going to go over to the bank right now and then um, we'll get on with the rest of the day. All right, you guys just got out and walking to Albertsons. I need to pick up some spinach and carrots for mom. Let's go inside. Oh, I might get some other stuff too. I don't know. No, I think I'll just stick to what I'm gonna get. Oh, I found the baby spinach. This is perfect. And for a bag of carrots. These look pretty good. Organic carrots. Alright you guys, I procured my vegetables. Now, off to the post office. Then we're gonna go pick up the food at the yard house then uh, maybe i can sneak in going to the goodwill really quick yeah let's go all right just got to yard house let's go get our food i have my food ready yay all right you guys we just got to the goodwill we're gonna go in really quick really fast because we have food in the car and i still get get more food but um <sighs> i'm not gonna be back out here today i really just wanted to run in really quick guys just looking through the handbags whoops but unfortunately I really don't see anything new I haven't really brought out I feel like these are all actually bags that I've already seen let's check out the back and see if they have any new carts out all right there's no new cart out so oh KitchenAid Oh, it's sticky. Why did I touch it? This little rabbit and bird are actually like really, really cute. Keep calm and carry on shopping. <laughs> $1.99. Whoa, this whole set is $60. I'm trying to find out what it is. Mimosa. Fine China made in Japan. Oh, I was like, look at this plate. But. Edwardian Fine Bone China made in England. $4.99. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. That's hilarious. I feel like um, my mom's friend Martha would really like this mug because she's like obsessed with coffee. It's like a little gross inside though, so I don't know about that one. Stevia Nova. Rachel Roy. So, oh, we got a jumper, almost. Time out, this flamingo is kind of fabulous. Could you imagine this for Easter? A flamingo like thing with flowers inside of it? <gasps> Do I dare? This is pretty fabulous though, like you have to admit, this is pretty cool looking. Hey guys, what is this? Oh, there are flower bundles? Yes! Hold on, I'm trying to like retrieve them. $3.99. Okay, not shabby. This is also quite cute. I don't know if I like these pokey things, but I honestly kind of do. They go really fabulous. Ooh, this little arrangement's kind of cute too. Oh, they have this swing chair. How cute is this? 60 bucks. Oh, it's already sold though. 
All right, guys, I just got inside the car and it just started raining. Like, yeah, it just started raining as I was walking out, as I was paying. And someone was like, oh my gosh, it just started raining. I was like, oh my gosh. Luckily, I parked right, like, pretty close to the Goodwill. Anyway, I just got those flowers. They were so pretty. And, like, as I was holding them all together, they just looked so good. And I was like, this is already, like, an instant bouquet. And if I was to buy something like that at the store, like, I, I think I paid, like, seven... How much did I end up paying? Oh, that's not the receipt. I think I ended up paying like under $18. And that's like literally like maybe like two like things of hydrangeas. So um, totally cool. I'm really excited. And I was only in there for a few moments. So now we're going to head over to McDonald's, get the food, and then go back home. All right, you guys. I'm waiting here to go pay and pick up my food at McDonald's. It started raining. Um, and... <laughs> All the cars are going nuts. It's funny like it just it's not even raining hard, but it's raining and the cars are going crazy All right, you guys just got all my food. Hey guys, okay, so I'm actually home and we've all eaten already Dad's actually here too and I actually gave him my food, but luckily I got some extra food um, from McDonald's So I ate that instead, but I'm holding these flowers. I just got them out of the car because earlier it was raining and I just left these inside because it was just like, I was holding too much stuff. So I actually have this vase that I think I want to see what these flowers look like inside. Like I think it'll be really pretty. <clears throat> I actually kind of like, just like the look of the flowers just like this. So I really wouldn't do, I'm trying to do this with the one hand. Come on Adrian, you can do it. Dexterity. <laughs> okay, I don't have to put this down for a second. All right, you guys, so check it out. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I don't know, maybe it's like too much for the vase. I probably need maybe something a little bit more open, but for right now, I feel like I kind of like it. But um, I do have another vase that I want to try. Hold on one second. Actually, I pushed the flowers in more. I guess they're like popping out a little bit. And now I think I like it a lot better. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. And this will be its little home for the time being. Um, it's so pretty. I love these flowers. And they were a little expensive at $70 for all of them. Um, they had them all like in, they had four separate bundles. Uh, I think three of them are $3.99 and then the big one was $4.99 or something like that. And so cute though because you know these are so expensive when you buy them at the store honestly just these little hydrangea ones are like really pricey and these are pretty good quality so i am pretty excited i really actually ended up liking these i thought i didn't like them at first but now that they're here i kind of like them and i do like these and yeah so i'm just gonna stop talking about this for right now though but <laughs> we'll put this over here um I'm still trying to like get inspiration for like what exactly I want to do. I'm being inspired by my little setup. Um, I did go thrifting to see if I could find some more items to add to like my decor for Easter. Didn't really find anything, but I have um, a bunch of stuff still um, that I can use. And I'm going to be doing the setup for the table really soon. I just have been pretty um, busy. So I have a couple things, a couple, a couple things I still have to do right now, and then, um, yeah. Oh, maybe I'll be, I'll be able to do this maybe tomorrow. Like, I just want to do at least the table. So that'll be done very soon. I know people have been asking about that. Oh, my mom made sinigang. It doesn't look like anything right now. She still has to add the other stuff, but so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, my food looks so yummy. Hey guys, okay, so I'm back inside my room, and it is after dinner um i just finished filming like an unboxing and it's like sorry my hair is like a mess but um i got like my hair got really wet when i was outside anyway it was raining humidity intense and i didn't really put anything in my hair before to like kind of combat the humidity so it kind of just like went a little crazy uh, but anyway I actually got a couple requests to do a like a sunglass um, like collection video, and I have a lot of sunglasses. But recently, I have been um, 
been really lucky to um, find sunglasses while I'm out thrifting and they're usually pretty cool ones that I don't normally would probably try and buy and not as like and in ranges I normally wouldn't pay for sunglasses but since they were at kind of like a thrift store um, I think all of these were purchased from um, Crossroads or um, Poshmark and eBay so um, let me just show you guys the ones that I get the most questions about. And this is actually my newest pair and I've gotten a couple, um, actually a lot of actually messages about this. Either comments and videos or um, people DMing me. And it is um, this pair. And these are one of my like new favorites just because they're so big. And these are um, Karen Walker sunglasses. I just love big sunglasses. I feel like these kind of make me look like a bumblebee or something, but I think like they're still kind of cool. Uh, they're cool. Like the whole front, like this is just all glass and it has like a metal frame that goes around and then a thing in the back that's like, has like a metal support for the nose, um, nose support. And sorry, these are kind of like dirty. They have like fingerprints all over them, but I am really loving these sunglasses a lot. I just got these last week at Crossroads and they are pretty amazing. I actually have never really heard of Karen Walker sunglasses until I saw these and I was just like, whoa, the sunglasses are really cool. I wanted to try them on and I really like them. I don't know. I feel like they're not for everyone and um, I may not be like the most adventurous person when it comes to fashion, but like in terms of like eyewear, I think I'm pretty adventurous. I feel like I don't normally, I wouldn't normally see people wearing these Jack Norris sunglasses. I kind of feel like J-Lo or something, but uh, these are really cool. I really like them and I like the little arrow on the side and I like that it's tortoise shell and I kind of, I like that they're kind of like a take on um, a combination of like the aviator and like the regular kind of like um, shape of like sunglasses but hugely oversized and rectangular so there's that so th that's what these sunglasses are there um karen walker and the style is called moonwalk it's like moon like in the sky walking yeah so that's that then the next um pair of sunglasses i get the most questions about is these. Now these I thought were so cool and I was so excited when I found them at Crossroads as well. And these are Tom Fords and these are, um, they're also like a uh, aviator kind of style sunglass but then I get like a little bit more like edgy modern take. Um, it has, they kind of rem remind me of a style that um, Ray-Ban makes as well. I don't remember what it's called. I think Club something. I don't remember. But um, it's cool because the pla like they're plastic and like they're acetate they go around the top and then the bottom is metal and then it has like a note and these are also really dirty I'm so embarrassed I don't even know why I didn't clean these first before I showed you guys but um that's how they look um but these are really cool they have like the little T that Tom Ford is known for right there on the sides and I just think they're really cool um I was actually really drawn to the to the um sunglasses like these that Ray-Ban offers so the largest size, the largest size that these come in from Ray-Ban are way too small for my head and I can't fit them. And these miraculously like fit. So it's awesome. I don't know. I have just like my cranium is huge and sunglasses like I, they would have to like stretch. Like it's, it's hard. I need like a big clearance. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited that I was able to find these. I'm so glad that like this trend of large sunglasses has been kind of sticking because it's been giving me the opportunity to find um, more sunglasses that fit. And I remember like I was on this huge thing like back in the day when I was like still in college and I was working like a million jobs and like <laughs> in retail. I, and working at the mall it was the worst for me. I would always like on my lunch break I would go shopping and I'd always go to like look at sun sunglasses. It was the easiest. Um, Okay, so next up, I have um, these. These are cool because they actually came in the bag and they actually have the original, like, cards and everything. And these are um, Gucci. These are so cute. I love um, that they have the little B on the side. I think that is so cute. And I like that touch um, that they gave right there. But these are Gucci. Um, GG0022S. 
is the size is the um is like the style number I guess and these are another pair of sunglasses that are huge and fit my giant head. I love like big sunglasses and I usually like them to be kind of more on the square side as well because I feel like I have like a really round shaped head and balancing that out with like rectangular glasses helps. So um, that's these sunglasses right here. I really really like them too and they're just plain black, black on black, black lenses and then um, black body, just acetate. I, is it acetate? That's what they're called, right? Acetate? Um, yeah, so those are these sunglasses. I love these so, 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 so much. And then up next, I actually, oh, oh, so those three I got from, oh, I got them all from Crossroads. Yeah. And then these, okay, so these are, they came in the case as well. And these are, um, Celine's. These are called the Tildes, and these are in like a tortoise shell, which I really, really like. I, I don't know, I love tortoise shell, and I like black, but I really would, I kind of like, kind of really almost any color sunglasses. I think they're fun. I think I want to get a good collection with like good colors going. I'm looking for like a red, blue, gray, green, uh, yellow would be so awesome, but I feel like no one makes yellow sunglasses really. Um, but... These are the Tildes, and these are probably my absolute most favorite sunglasses. I just love them. They're pretty big, like I love the size of them, and they're um, a square, rectangular frame. And these I actually also own in black, but I don't have them with me right now. I think they're like in the car, and I don't know which car they're in. I still have to go, like I honestly like lost them. I don't know what car they're in. But I feel like, <laughs> I, I know that I have them. I know I haven't lost them, I, I think. Um, I, yeah. So anyway, these sunglasses are so awesome. Celine makes really great oversized sunglasses. And I love the way they feel. They feel really substantial. And um, these I got, I believe, on Poshmark. I know that one of them I got from Poshmark and one of them I got from eBay. Um, so... But yeah, they're both the same exact sunglasses, but in two different colors. That's how much I like them. I had to get them in two colors. And yeah, because these are actually the first ones that I, um, the first Celine's I have gotten. And I got them, and this, I got these sunglasses before I got these other ones when I found them at Crossroads. I had these first, and I just completely fell in love, and I just had to get them in another color. I was like, okay, like, black is good, but I also really like tortoiseshell, and I had been looking for tortoiseshell sunglasses for some time. I had a pair years ago, and I lost them. I actually was getting my hair cut. I left them at the salon. I called them, like, an hour later, and they were like, oh, I don't know where they are, and I'm like, okay, like, I just literally had them on the counter. Like, someone just stole them or something, so. Those were long gone, and I will forever miss those sunglasses, um, but... Now I have a replacement pair of tortoise shell sunglasses and I could not be happier because I just love these so, so much. I'm so excited. Um, they just make me happy. You know, I don't know, like these, like, I like a good pair of sunglasses, you know, and protecting your eyes from um, the harmful rays of the sun are important. So, um, why not have fun while protecting your eyeballs? So that is um, kind of my little collection that I have going on right now of like thrifted um, sunglasses that I didn't like buy at a retail store. Um, and if you guys want to see like a full comprehensive video of all my sunglasses, I think I have like maybe 20, maybe 20 pairs. Let me know and I will do them. But I just wanted to like do this quickly in the vlog because I love, um, I just been getting a lot of comments about them. And I actually just saw a couple pop up like right before I decided to film this and I was like, you know what, I really am just going to film it so um, people know. But these are called the Tildes. Um, and I, you know what, I believe they do come in two sizes. I think they come in a smaller size as well. And these are the larger size. Um, the length is like 150 from here to here. And the, length, the lens length of the lenses is 51. And the num the serial, or the... Um, style number is CL4106 backslash S. So, those are these. And I love them. They're so awesome.
But yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I'm sorry that I've just been like so busy. I've just like that I didn't even get to really start the vlog till later on in the day. I was just too busy this morning getting um other stuff done and then packaging stuff and then trying to take product photos and listing them. And thank you for everyone who's like who bought stuff and who watched the videos and like videos, leave comments and anything. You guys just like mean the world to me and I'm so excited that like I don't know, like that I I didn't think I would have so much fun doing YouTube. Like, I always thought YouTube was gonna be really fun, but like just really interacting with you guys and getting to know some of you all is just so much fun. And I feel like I really have made some lifelong friends with some of you guys. And I, I like talk to you guys more than I talk to like people like that I went to school with that I've known for years. It's funny, um, but yeah, thank you guys again so so much. And um, if you guys enjoyed the video again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, what like do you guys have like anything specific that you like? You guys like to collect? Like, I love collecting handbags, obviously, and then sunglasses. I think those are my two things. Um, shoes, eh? I'm not like super into shoes. Um, I do like nice shoes, but I really honestly just like wear flip flops most of the time guys probably know that and I remember when I first started this channel and I would wear like these clunky flip-flops everywhere I went and it was literally the worst and everyone would always be like why don't you ever why do you always click your your sandals and I don't like I don't know <laughs> but um yeah I'm just like I like from years of retail and all that and like having to wear closed toed shoes and then um, just having the freedom to not have to always wear closed toed shoes has just been like too tantalizing a thing. So I feel like I'm like always like taking every opportunity to wear <laughs> to wear t-shirts, shorts, and flip flops. I don't know. I'm so Californian, or like I, that's a really Californian thing to do, and like a really Filipino thing to do. Like I don't know. So it's weird. But honestly, like when um. I used to hate wearing shorts when I was younger. I used to hate wearing shorts. I used to hate wearing um, like flip flops or sandals or anything. I always wanted to wear shoes. I always wanted to wear pants. And funny enough, I always wanted to wear sweaters. Like in junior high, literally, I was always wearing this like hideous, not like in retrospect, like it was really ugly. And it was this really, <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember um, back then when they had like the Old Navy performance fleece and they used to have like a little jingle like Old Navy, Old Navy, Old Navy performance fleece or something like that and I always wore this Old Navy performance fleece sweater in a ridiculously bright yellow. Like it was bright and I wore it almost every single day even like when it was hot I would still be wearing it. But it was, it was cold in the classroom, so honestly, like, yeah. And we had to wear uniforms to school, but we can wear, like, you know, like, you could pretty much wear any jacket or sweater you wanted, and, like, people would always wear, like, different sweaters and stuff to kind of, like, I guess, express their individuality, and I guess my expression of my individuality was looking like a giant lemon. <laughs> that, like, even in my yearbook, photo. I don't think I had, I, I don't think I wore it in my, like, my freshman, or, like, because junior high school, junior high was, like, like, two years, like, eighth, or it was, like, seventh and eighth grade. Seventh grade, I didn't wear the lemon, but eighth grade, like, in my eighth grade photo, I was wearing the lemon. In my eighth grade, like, group photo, of, like, everyone in eighth grade, when they take, like, that big panoramic photo of everyone in the school, wearing the lemon. It was not easy, it was not hard to miss me because I was just like that bright yellow spot. And I guess like that actually did work in my benefit because I would be like, hey, that's me in the bright yellow sweater, that's Hadrian. And then my friends were like, oh, there's Hadrian, that's me right next to him. So uh, I guess that kind of worked out in that aspect of wearing that sweater. But honestly, like, I just went off on a tangent and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <sighs> But yeah, um, I'm, I'm so weird. <laughs> but um, the, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, let me know down below in the comments if you guys have done anything weird like that when you, you were growing up. If you had like a favorite pair of shoes or a favorite sweater, like me, like literally, 
at least in eighth grade. It was like half of seventh grade and the rest of eighth grade, that yellow sweater. And mom like literally burned that sweater when I went to junior high. She's like, you're not wearing the sweater anymore. You're always wearing it. And I'm like, okay, I want, I promise. But I, I wish I still had that sweater so I can show you guys. But if I could find a photo or something, I will show you guys in the future. Um, I'm no, I know actually it's in the yearbook, but the yearbook isn't in color. So you wouldn't see me wearing the thing. And I don't know where that giant photo is. I know I have it somewhere. But it's probably like in, in the garage inside a box, which actually I know is in the garage inside a box. But yeah, so. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys again. I love you guys so much. Tune in tomorrow. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.